Imagine eating lemons, written by Jason Rhodes and illustrated by Richard Deering. This is Chester Chestnut. He's a happy little chap. He loves to dance and sing and bounce through puddles with a splash. Now Chester's very cheerful, but sometimes his tummy hurts. A tiny thought will grow. And grow, and make him feel much worse. Today he starts his lessons. He's the only one that's new. What if I'm too shy to play? I don't know what I'll do. He thinks about his clumsiness and tumbling down the stairs. He's bouncing down so loudly, all the children stop and stare. His tiny tummy's turning, and his head begins to buzz. To make himself feel better, have a look at what he does. He slowly takes a deep breath in, and wiggles all his toes. He feels his tingly fingertips and tickling in his nose. He stops and listens carefully. What noises can he hear? The pattering rain on the window pane. A steam train passing near. He's finally feeling calmer. Think of all the friends I'll make. He thinks of all the parties and the giant jelly cake. He thinks of all the children as they're bouncing through the trees. Let's have a roly poly race. One, two, three. Your thoughts are very powerful. They change the way you feel. Imagine eating lemons, and your mouth will think it's real. Weeks go by, and Chester plays with all of his new friends. They're piling up the sticks for building super secret dens. He sings a lovely song until he gets a poorly tummy. He thinks about the talent show and starts to miss his mummy. What if people laugh at me when I begin to sing? He's standing there in silence. <gasps> He's forgotten everything. He thinks of what would happen if he opened up his mouth and found his voice was squeaking like a teeny tiny mouse. So he slowly takes a deep breath in, <sighs> and wiggles all his toes. He feels his tingly fingertips and tickling in his nose. He stops and listens carefully. What noises can he hear? The rustling trees, the buzzing bees, the birdsong in his ear. His noisy thoughts are calmer now. I love to sing this song. His squeaky voice is soaring. It was opera all along. He hits the highest note he can. His friends all cheer and clap. They sing his song so loudly that his teacher's glasses crack. Your thoughts are very powerful; they change the way you feel. Imagine eating lemons, and your mouth will think it's real. Autumn falls to winter. Pippa's ready for the park. His playful pet will flutter by to sparkle in the dark. He gets a frosty feeling. With a funny little thought, the snow is very chilly, and my legs are very short. His tiny thought is growing. What if Pippa gets too cold? He thinks about her racing off, not doing as she's told. He thinks of all the crunching and the rustling in the leaves. His tiny thought's enormous. There's a monster in the trees. So he. Slowly takes a deep breath in, <sighs> and wiggles all his toes. He feels his tingly fingertips and tickling in his nose. He sits and listens quietly. What noises can he hear? The sleepy snores, the rocking horse, the children playing near. He settles down and pictures Pippa flashing in the night. The monsters that he saw were bunnies bouncing in the light. 
He thinks of being lifted up and whooshing through the sky, like soaring through the stars with Pippa's sparkles flashing by. A happy chap like Chester knows that when he's feeling scared, he'll always feel much better when his problems have been shared. So now you've seen how tiny thoughts can change the way you feel. Imagine eating lemons, and your mouth will think it's real.